Good morning, everybody, and welcome to S5U. I'm Kate Drake. I'll be your host this morning as we talk about building your business with LinkedIn. Um, now, obviously, uh, we offer LinkedIn service here at Social5, but even if you're not uh, taking advantage of that as part of your package, it's really something I'd recommend that you um, look into doing on your own, just because it is such a powerful uh, tool. Um, we just saw Microsoft purchase LinkedIn earlier this, uh, well, I guess it was last year, it's uh, January now, um, but uh, Microsoft just purchased them for um, a huge record-breaking uh, $26 billion deal. And um, so clearly Microsoft is seeing the value of LinkedIn and, and we're expecting that it's just going to get even more robust over time. So um, we're going to just hop right in here, but as always, feel free to ask questions as we go along. You can do that in either the chats uh, forum or in the Q&A section, and I'll try and hit those as we go. And we'll also have some Q&A at the end too. Let's see if our PowerPoint will, <laughs> will come with us this morning. Sorry about that. Okay, so what we're going to be talking about today, just a quick little overview. So we're going to talk about the LinkedIn audience and how it's different from other audiences on social media. Um, talk about getting started. Oh, excuse me. Um, how to build your connections on LinkedIn. And leveraging those connections outside of LinkedIn and how you can uh, use them in your email program uh, marketing and, and things like that. So I really like this quote um, by Reid Hoffman. It says, LinkedIn should be connecting you to the information, insights, and people to be more effective. And that's really important here. I mean, LinkedIn, it's really about business to business and connecting with other professionals in a way that Facebook and Twitter just aren't. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what makes LinkedIn different. So Facebook is um, has a consumer-based audience with the highest growth in the 25 to 54 age bracket. It's the largest social channel, obviously, right? Big mix of male and female. But the thing about Facebook is that it's really a B2C uh, platform. It's business to consumer. You're connecting with uh, other um, with consumers who may use your product. Same thing with Twitter. It's a quick read mobile channel. It tends to trend more urban than rural. Um, so that's a little bit different and under 49, so it is pretty young. Um, but again, it's kind of a mixture of, of gender, uh, education and economic strata. Great audience there, right? It's, it's a huge audience, lots of diversity. But again, it's B2C. The thing about LinkedIn is that it's really business to business uh, marketing with a networking emphasis. Now it is very male dominated and LinkedIn recognizes that and is trying to change it right now. I know I personally get um, probably five or six emails a week from LinkedIn asking me to attend a women in management seminar or things like that. And they're trying to, to boost up that uh, female side of their, um, of their clientele and their audience to make it uh, more uh, diverse as far as gender goes. But it's also very business centric. So the folks that you're gonna be meeting with on LinkedIn are um, you know, professionals, they're looking to connect for business. And the thing that's really great about that is it's a really great opportunity for you to connect with other professionals who you can each help grow each other's business. So to get started, um, you're just gonna sign into your LinkedIn profile at linkedin.com or you'll create a, pro a new profile. You'll be asked for your email address and password the same way you are with any other social channel. And then once you sign in, you're, um, you'll be signed into your profile. This is the profile of um, my boss, Jeremiah Stetler. I always like to use him as an example. Um, and you can see it's, it's fairly straightforward. It's a lot like a lot of the other social channels, like a Facebook page or something. Um, up in the right-hand corner, you're going to be able to see what's happening with your account. You're going to be able to see what messages you have, any notifications you have of people who either viewed your profile or asked you for a connection or, or whatever, and all your connection requests will be there too. So um, you, again, that right, right corner is, is pretty um, important here on LinkedIn and, and will help you kind of navigate around and see what you need to, to do. Over here, down on kind of this newsfeed section is pe where people are gonna see what you're posting and you can see what other people are posting. So content from your connections is gonna appear, appear there in a live newsfeed. Now one of the things that's a little bit different about LinkedIn is that it does move a lot slower than some of these other social channels. So if you're doing it yourself, it is a lot easier to um, stay up to date. You probably only need to post once or twice a week on LinkedIn, whereas um, you know Facebook or Twitter, you need to be posting a lot more often. So that is kind of nice. It's a little, moves a little more slowly. 
So you're going to start with your profile. And um, remember, LinkedIn is a, a B2B network that's used for recruiting, um, vetting, and investigating potential business partners. So one of the things that people are going to do when they're looking at your business and thinking about doing business with you is come and look to, at your LinkedIn profile. So you want to make sure that your, pro your profile looks really professional and thoughtful and thorough. Um, because it's going to be used for online searchability and really for first impressions. It's almost like an online resume. Or um, if it's a business page, it's, you know, the first impression that people are going to get in your business. The other important part about this is that LinkedIn results tend to show up very high in Google search rankings. So um, it's probably going to be one of the first, you know, within the top five results of what people find when they Google your company. So it's important to make sure that you, that you look professional. So again, think about this as an online resume. You want to make your profile as thorough as you can and use keywords that would help potential partners find you. So you can see Jeremiah is here. He's got that he's our chief content officer. He's um, got his past jobs and everything. And he's got some buzzwords about what he does and things like that. You know, he's added himself to the marketing and advertising group. He's got his skills and endorsements here and things like that. Now, what you're going to want to do is build your network. So you're going to start with the search bar, and this will allow you to add friends and family and associates to your network by their name. So what you're going to do is you're going to type in the name, and then you just press the connect button. And in this case, Jeremiah is trying to connect with me. Now you can see that there are several Katie Drakes out there. So that's part of why you want to have a photo and as much information as you can so that people make sure they know they're connecting with the right person. So in this case, you can see that um, Jeremiah found me on there. And you can see um, next to my name up there, it says first. And that means we're, that he and I have a first degree connection. We actually know each other. Now other uh, people, actually there's one down here that's me too, uh, Katie Drake reporter at the Salt Lake Tribune. That's an old LinkedIn page of mine that I've since deleted. Um, but that's a second degree connection and it's saying, oh, we know someone in common. So, um, and in this case, it was someone that we both would work with at the newspaper beforehand. So, um, you know, you want to make sure that you have the up-to-date profile and that you're, you get rid of any old ones and things like that too. That's important. Now, um, the other thing that's cool is you can let LinkedIn do some of the searching for you to build your network by using your email databases. So all you need to do here is click add connections up under the connections button on the left hand side. You can see it right there. And it will let you see who you already know on LinkedIn. It will scour your email address book and see if there are folks that you already know. So you can use Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo Mail, it, basically any email server will, will work. And it will uh, pull up all these folks that are in your contact list who have LinkedIn profiles. And you can send them connection requests. It's really cool. Now, one thing that's really cool about LinkedIn is that you have the opportunity to leverage your network outside of LinkedIn. So once you've built your profile and added connections and everything like that, um, and given your network a little bit of time to grow, at least once a week, we would encourage you to hop on LinkedIn and accept connection requests from people that you know and search for new connections. Now, of course, you don't have to accept a connection request from everybody. You know, if you've worked with someone in the past and you just were not that impressed with them, you wouldn't endorse them, you don't wanna be connected with them, feel free to ignore it, right? But you know, make sure you're out there trying to accept connection requests from folks that you've worked with before. Um, look for new connections. One of the things I really encourage folks to do is um, you know, think about who you've met throughout the week at various different things, you know, whether it's dropping your kids off at school or a networking event or um, someone you had a sales meeting with, whatever it may be, and search for them on LinkedIn and add them as a new connection and grow your network that way. Now, the other thing that you can do is make those connections count by um, posting content regularly, but also making sure that your LinkedIn contacts are part of your email marketing efforts. Now, all of you have um, email marketing here with Social5, or at least most of you, I'm assuming. Um, it comes with almost every package that we sell. Um, so, you know, you've got, you've got a monthly email blast going out. So what you want to do is you want to um, export your contacts information and send it over to us so that we can send them that monthly email and that they'll be getting that from you. It's really easy to do. You're gonna come up here to connections again and click on keep in touch. 
and then it will bring you over to this little thing up here on the um, right that looks like a little gear. And you click on that and it will let you um, export your LinkedIn contacts. And it just puts them in a spreadsheet for you and you can just shoot that off um, over to us at support at social5.com and we'll upload them into your monthly email blast marketing. And this is totally, you know, like, uh, complies with all email marketing laws and everything. If someone gives you their connection information over LinkedIn, that counts as opting into your um, your email and everything. They've willingly given you their contact information. All right, with that, um, we'll go ahead and close out. Anybody have any questions that they want to ask before we sign off? Anybody? Oh, I've got one here about how, okay, Paula's got her hand raised. Go ahead and type in your question, Paula. <laughs> and, and we'll wait for you. Um, it, one thing that people do have a question about is with the um, exporting the LinkedIn contacts, how often can you do it? And you can do it as often as you want. I'd recommend, you know, once a quarter, once a month, something along those lines. Depending on how much you're growing your network, you're not gonna have thousands of new ones every time. The other nice part is that our system will automatically filter out those duplicates. So you can export your entire list every time and send it over and we won't send more than, than one email to each person. All right, so let me grab a couple of these questions here. What if you have two businesses and careers? Do you have one LinkedIn page? Great question. I would recommend probably having one for yourself, right? You only want to have one personal page. Um, because otherwise it gets a little too confusing. So I would just make sure you've got both of your careers listed and, and both of your businesses there. But then I would create a separate business page for each one of your businesses. So, um, I, yeah, um, I, I would go ahead and do that. So, so you, you'd end up probably with three pages because remember, you're going to want to have one for yourself and one for your business too. Another great question here, why do I want to export my contacts to you? And this would be because you're, um, you're sort of most people's packages include a monthly email blast. So that email blast that goes out to all of your contacts, you'd wanna send over those LinkedIn contacts so it increases your email audience, right? And the really nice part about that is it's a great way to just kind of have a monthly touch point with them, keep in touch and um, you know keep you top of mind with them. Um, someone else is asking about the LinkedIn service. They didn't know that we offered that and how can they get more info. The best way is to just shoot an email over to us at support at social5.com. That's our helpline. Say, I want to learn more about adding LinkedIn to my package and we'll um, get one of our reps in touch with you and we can talk to you about that, okay? It's pretty easy to add. So it's not a big, not a, a, a big deal. Um, and it is really nice. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, a good question here. It says, my dashboard looks totally different. It's because um, some people have upgraded to the new format. Where do I find the ad connections? I used to see it, it's gone now. That is a very good question. Um, I, I mean, you might wanna just do some Google searching <laughs> with, with something like that. Um, there should still be a connections button up there and it will have ad connections under that. So wherever you're seeing that connections button on your dashboard, and you can, if you need to, um, you just do a quick Google search and say, you know, how to add connections on LinkedIn or whatever, and it will help you do that. I use that actually all the time um, when I'm telling people how to export their contacts from LinkedIn. Um, LinkedIn has done an excellent job of having their Q&A out there and easily searchable. So like if you Google how to export LinkedIn connections, you'll, the first thing that pulls up is a step-by-step -step list of exactly how to do it. So really helpful that way and really easy. So if your dash looks a little bit different, and, and sometimes it will depending on what version of software and things like that you're using, um, that's probably the best way. And then you can find the one that matches your um, particular system and everything. All right, any other questions? Okay, well thanks all for joining us. We'll be talking about LinkedIn advertising uh, in two weeks for s 5 so I hope you can join us for that. Um, this is another really great way to connect with other businesses and um, really powerful if you're going to be doing um, any recruiting for uh, different skilled jobs and stuff. So uh, really interesting stuff. Hope you'll be able to join us for that in two weeks. Uh, until then, we'll see you later and have a great week. Oh, it looks like we've got one more question, hang on. Okay, looks like we're good.
All right. Yeah. And it, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to email us over at support at social5.com and we are happy to help you out. Oh, one more. Yeah, there is a website. It's social5.com. So feel free to, to go check that out too. Um, and it should have, it has all the packages and every information and everything on there. So, um, but again, just go ahead and if you want to sign up for LinkedIn service, just shoot us an email over at support and we'll have one of our ops team get in touch with you. And that way they can get on the phone with you and add your connection right there. And it's super easy. So, um, yeah, I, I highly recommend doing the email route support at social All right. We'll see you guys all in a few weeks.